Hello, this is Amanda Verrett from the Office of Instructional Design and Distance Learning at Northern Kentucky University with Mike Lively. This is the final video in the eight-part tutorial series on creating immersive panoramic photographs. In this video, I will be talking about putting the equal rectangular panoramic image we just finished creating into our Paper Vision 3D code in Flex. So first, you'll have to get the code. You can go to Google and type in code.google.com slash p slash flex3 cookbook1 and it's this first result this is one of Mike's flex3 cookbooks just go to downloads and you will find the code that you need to download sixth from the top sphericalpano.zip once you have downloaded and installed this into a flex project you'll be ready to go. Uh, in this tutorial I'm just going to be talking about how to put the image into the code and alter the code to call that image in. But if you'd like a full walkthrough of the code you can go to Mike's blog at www.professionalpapervision.wordpress.com or search for the tutorial video he created called Creating a Spherical Panorama in PV3D. Okay so now we're in flex and I've created a flex project called library pano and I have put all of our code into that project I have the main mxml pulled up first import statement says import com dot unit zero one dot pv three d dot sphere pano those are the directions defining the action script file that we will need to alter to call in our uh, panoramic image so just follow those directions com and then navigate down to the unit 01 folder and then the pv3d folder you'll see spherepano.as so open that up and then you will see this embed statement source equals assets pano image dot swift so just go to assets under the source folder and you'll see a swift and that's where we're gonna copy and paste our swift that we made so go grab librarypano.swift copy and paste it right into the assets folder. Alright, now we're going to go over into our action script document and replace that document. We can go ahead and delete this, save this file, and then run our main mxml file. And here we have it! We're we'll right back in the library where we started. There's Matt. Thank you, Matt, for helping me with this tutorial series. As you can see, there's no more tripod below us. And there's nothing above us except the ceiling. So we're completely immersed in this photograph of the library. So we made this immersive panorama in Flex with Paper Vision 3D, but you can also make a similar panorama using Flash CS3 and JPEG files instead of Swifts. And to find more information on that, again, go to Mike's blog at www.professionalpapervision.wordpress.com. And thank you all for watching.